What's up everybody? Moving on to the next example. Show that the rate of change for the volume of a cube with respect to its side length is equal to half its surface area. So to start off, I drew a cube here with side lengths x and they're all equal because it's a cube. So the length, the width, and the height, they're all uh, length x. So the volume of this cube is going to be x cubed, length times width times height. And then the surface area is there are six faces and each face has an area of x squared and because there's six of them we would just multiply that x squared by six so the surface area is equal to six x squared so if you notice we have to find the rate of change for the volume with respect to its side length so we have to find the rate of change for the volume when the side length let's say is some variable a or some length a so we have to find the instantaneous rate of change for the volume when the side length is a. So we're going to use the difference quotient when the limit as h goes to zero v of a plus h minus v of a all over h. And the equation that we're using is the volume one, v equals x cubed. So v of a plus h, we plug in a plus h for the x and we'll have a plus h cubed here minus v of a, we plug in a for the x here, so we'll have a cubed here. And then this is all over h. So then when we take this a plus h cubed and then foil it out three times, we would end up with a cubed plus 3a squared h plus 3a h squared plus h cubed. And then we're still subtracting that a cubed there. And then notice how these a cubes cancel out. And then with the remaining expression in the numerator, notice that we can factor out an h from each of these terms. And now the h's cancel out and we get rid of that h in the denominator. And now we can plug in zero for h with this remaining expression in the brackets. So if we do that, this term would go to zero and then this term would go to zero. So our final answer would just be three a squared. So that represents the general expression for the rate of change for the volume of a cube when the side length is equal to a. Now similarly, what's the surface area when the side length is equal to some number a? Well, we know the surface area formula is 6x squared, so we would just plug in a for x, so we'd have 6a squared. Now let's go back to our original question. What are we showing? We're showing that the rate of change for the volume of a cube, which is 3a squared, is equal to half its surface area. Well, its surface area is equal to 6a squared. So if we take that and multiply it by a half, we would end up getting 3a squared, which if you notice, it's the same general expression. So that is the question, we proved it. The volume or the uh, rate of change for the volume of a cube when the side length is equal to a is equal to half its surface area or half the surface area of that same cube. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.